Here's a Samsung Galaxy S6 tip for you. I'm going to show you how to manage and customize notifications. So notifications are the swipe down from the top of the screen. Here's all the notifications that I currently have. Some of them I can swipe away to dismiss, so this one I could swipe away if I wanted to. And the same thing with this Google Play down here. Now there are some that are built into the system that I cannot get rid of. For example, this Wi-Fi connected. If you have your device connected to a Wi-Fi network, you're always going to see this. There's no way of getting rid of that. I find that a little bit annoying, but it's just something that you're going to have to deal with having the Galaxy S6. And then if an application is running in the background, so I have a recorder that's allowing me to record the screen here for these demos, I cannot remove that right now because the actual application is running. And the other one, no SIM. I don't currently have a SIM in my device, so I cannot remove that. It's letting me know I need to insert a SIM card before I can make phone calls and use my mobile data. But on this one, say the screenshot, you see it says tap to view screenshot. If I tap on it, it's going to take me into the application. But what I can do is pinch out and I get a little preview of the screenshot and I can even delete, edit and share the screenshot directly from my notification center. What's also handy is if I actually lock my device and come to the lock screen, there's my notifications. So I can actually swipe down and what it's going to do is show me all of my notifications and I can go ahead and come through here and dismiss them and take action from them right from the lock screen. So once I swipe over, it actually clears that out of there. You see there's also a clear all button down here in the bottom right hand corner, which will clear all notifications that it can. So we're going to go ahead and open a lock screen. And here's a cool feature as well. Swipe down notification center. And if I tap and hold on a notification, it's going to show me the application that sent that notification. So this was the Google Play Store. If I tap the information button, it's going to bring me into app notifications where I can set this app as a priority. So this will show notifications at the top of the notification panel and include them in the allowed list while do not disturb mode is on. And we can block notifications from this application by tapping on that and it's going to block notifications from this app. Now that we're in this menu, what we're going to do is we're going to come into our settings and we're in our quick settings. We're going to come to sounds and notifications. Now down here in notifications, we have do not disturb. We covered do not disturb in another video, so make sure and check that video out for do not disturb settings. Notification on lock screen. That's going to allow me to show content or do not show notifications. And that was a lock screen out here, so when I lock my device, this is where notifications show up. I can disable that altogether by turning that option on, notification on lock screen, do not show. So now if I lock my device, no notifications. If I turn that back on, you'll notice that I do have those notifications reappear. Down below we have app notifications. This is where we just were in the Google Play Store. So now what I can do is actually see all of the apps that are installed on my device, swipe through, tap on one, and I have those options. Block notifications and set as priority. Then with Chrome I have this other settings icon that I can come in here and get notifications and ask before sending a notification. So some apps might have a deeper level notification system for that specific app. And I can go ahead and come through all the apps in here and actually set if I want to block or set as priority. Coming back into my settings, I have the LED indicator. This is a blinking light in the top left of your device next to the actual speaker grill where you put it up to your ear. There's going to be an indicator button that will flash on and off whenever you have a notification. If you don't want that to show, just toggle it off and the button and the light will no longer show. If you turn it on, that light will flash every time you get a notification. So that is how you set up and customize your notifications on your Galaxy S6.